Antarctica is a vast, mysterious continent that very few will have the chance to visit. Over 98% of it is completely covered in ice. What strange things could be under the ice and what might we discover if some of the ice melts? Whether it's a research station investigating some crazy stuff or possibly something from out of this world, here are 12 strange places in Antarctica. But first, thanks Yolo Gamer for checking out our party video and letting us know which party you won to see the most. There will be no parties on Antarctica, but there will be some strange places here. Number 12, World Peace Location. Antarctica is a strange continent with so many mysterious qualities. There are so many things that so few people know about the seventh continent, and it was only the last 100 years that we really got a chance to discover some of the answers to the great mysteries of this continent. One thing you may have not known is that Antarctica is considered a world peace location by the United Nations, and has been designated for peaceful scientific progress by the nations of the world, with a focus on avoiding conflict between nations. In the past, there were military operations that weren't always successful conducted by the U.S. One of the missions that was conducted here was known as Operation High Jump, and it was conducted in 1946 to 1947. The other one was Operation Deep Freeze, which was about 10 years later. Why would the military be trying to do this on a vast, mysterious continent? It wasn't until 1959 when different countries agreed that only scientists were allowed here. But did that treaty completely stop military operations? Number 11, Port Lockroy. Port Lockroy is just a research station on the Antarctic Peninsula and anything on this continent is quite remote. Who knows what they could really be researching out here. A naturally forming bay was discovered in 1904, which was used for whaling originally and would help whalers restock on supplies. During World War II, the British actually attempted to establish a military base here, but we all know how Antarctica is quite inhospitable. This was part of Operation Tabarin in 1943, before the peace agreement, which would allow them to establish bases in the remote areas of Antarctica, since they were worried other countries were already doing it. A military base here turned out to be too costly and somewhat pointless, and finally, in the 1960s, it was turned into a research station. The buildings have lost their original purpose, and some have been transformed into museums. Tourists are allowed to visit the site, but not allowed to go too much further. Number 10, Deception Island. Deception Island is located at the very northern tip of Antarctica, just south of the Shetland Islands. Norwegians, who are no strangers to cold weather, attempted to settle on this cold and extremely remote island in order to hunt whales in 1906. This quickly became a focal point for gathering seal fur and valuable whale blubber. The whale population here was quite abundant and completely untouched by mankind. But eventually, with access to new technologies in boating and weapons, it was like shooting fish in a barrel for quite a while. There is plenty of fresh water on the island, plenty of fish to eat, and despite it being cold in the wintertime, it could certainly be an inhabitable area if it wasn't for one key factor. The bizarre shape of the island is due to the fact that it's actually on the edge of a volcanic caldera. Once a huge volcanic eruption destroyed much of the colony, it was difficult to continue living there. In 1969, they decided that maybe it wasn't a great place to live after all. Many have also attempted to set up research stations here, but with no avail, like we see in this photo here of an abandoned British research station. Some visitors will come to Deception Island occasionally, but the active volcano makes it nearly impossible to establish a permanent settlement. Number 9, McMurdo Dry Valley. When you think of Antarctica, normally a few things come to mind. Snow, penguins, ice, well not all this continent is completely covered in ice and you'll be shocked by some of these landscapes. The McMurdo Dry Valleys are a rare snow-free valley in Antarctica and it looks like your normal desert but only microscopic organisms can survive the low humidity. No current discoveries of living creatures have been found here and not even penguins. The weather is extremely inhospitable, winds can reach up to 200 miles per hour. Whoever discovered this region probably regretted it. Scientists consider the environment very similar to that of Mars, and studying the microorganisms here can give them possible insight on extraterrestrial life. Number 8, Mount Erebus. Mount Erebus is the most active volcano in Antarctica and the second highest peak. Fire meets ice when this thing goes off. The summit reaches 12,448 feet and is located on Ross Island. This volcano has been active since 1.3 million years ago, and it still goes off today. It was discovered in 1841 by Sir James Clark Ross, and it was named after the boat that helped him get there. 
Robotic exploration is the best way to explore this mountain. However, many have attempted to reach the crater. In 1991, a man named Charles Blackmer reached the top without help from anyone. He only needed a snowmobile to get there and marched to the top in only 17 hours. Number 7. Soviet's Wreckage Many countries had flocked to Antarctica for research and scientific studies. Among one of the countries was the Soviet Union in 1958. They also left behind some of the eeriest bases and structures from their attempted stronghold. They had to live in conditions even colder than in Russia, which reached temperatures of negative 72 degrees in the winter. Here we see a statue of Lenin coming out of a coffin-shaped box to remind them of home and claim their territory. The station was abandoned only a year later. They had tried to reoccupy the base, but then they failed again in 1979. Here we see vehicles that litter the snow and oil stations used to fuel them. Number 6. Antarctica Pyramid Amateur explorers tend to use Google Maps since it's cheaper and you don't need to travel through snow or other undesirable elements. This is certainly an easier option than going for an expedition through Antarctica in real life. The Antarctica Pyramid was discovered in this way and has a shocking resemblance to the pyramids in Giza if you look at it online. There have been pyramids discovered on every continent, so why not Antarctica? It's definitely in a pyramid shape and is a tremendous discovery nonetheless. NASA claims that Antarctica was greener and much more suitable for life thousands of years ago. Could human life have possibly existed on this vast, mysterious continent? If it is possible, could we be looking at the remnants of an ancient work of a civilization? Number 5. Vostok Research Station, Antarctica Formerly a Soviet research station, it's found very far inland on Antarctica. If anyone could deal with the extreme cold here, we imagine it could be the Russians. The coldest month in Vostok, Antarctica is the month of August, which would normally be the hottest for most people in the Northern Hemisphere. That doesn't mean their summers are warm at all. The hottest temperatures ever recorded here were in the month of January, and they reached 10 degrees Fahrenheit in 2002. The record low was an astonishing negative 128 degrees. The research station has four months of no sunlight during its winter. Number 4. Lake Vostok, Antarctica the main reason for the research station is this mysterious lake on Antarctica. Located on this inhospitable continent lies a freshwater lake, but he won't be coming here anytime soon. It's located about 13,000 feet below a thick layer of ice. The water beneath the ice sheet hasn't seen the surface of Earth in millions of years. Scientists took an extremely difficult challenge of drilling through the ice and came across something shocking. They found over 3,500 different species of organisms. What's interesting about this is that a moon called Europa also has a thick layer of ice over a liquid ocean. If things could survive the conditions in Antarctica, they most likely could survive on the moon or other places around our solar system, increasing the chances of alien life by a long shot. They found things like fish and this shrimp, which were much more complicated organisms than they expected to see. The shrimp was actually found below over two miles of ice. Number 3. Plateau Station, Antarctica This is currently an inactive research center at the Antarctic Plateau. Construction first began on December 13, 1965, and it was built for solar observation, micrometeorological studies, atmospheric studies, and other things. This is the second coldest place on Earth, and the lowest temperature here reached a negative 123 degrees Fahrenheit on July 20th, 1968. Summers here are obviously very short and are always below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Winters are long, frigid, and dark, making me wonder why anyone would want to research here. A scientist there stated that every breath he took outside was painful and you had to worry about freezing your lungs or your throat while inhaling. Number 2. Antarctica Blood Falls If you're ever able to get the chance to visit the continent of Antarctica, you might run into the red-colored waterfalls streaming into the ocean. It may look like a vampire hideout or something, or someone had an accident on the ice. Although this isn't the case, you probably want to stay away anyways. The water in the area is extremely salty and won't even freeze even though it's well below the normal freezing point. When glaciers began to form here, iron rock was scraped from the ground below. Oxygen in the air turned the iron-rich water into a bright red, which leaves the eerie appearance. Number 1. UFO Crash Antarctica is a massive continent that remains for the most part unexplored. If a UFO had crashed on this land, how would we know? Google Maps UFO enthusiasts are convinced that this is exactly what happened and they're claiming it's a true crash site. This is indeed snow that was disturbed and appears to be a hole in the shape of a flying saucer. Many alien hunters out there are pretty sure this is a UFO. 
one UFO hunter named Valentin Degretev. And amongst endless ice desert, it is the most genuine UFO in the most classic shape. So if it's not a UFO, what could it be? Skeptics say it's just a crack in the ice. Until someone goes to the location for themselves, we won't know for sure. Some claim that in this photo we see here, an update of the site shows what looks like four tanks just a few yards away. Could they have found out the truth? Who knows?